everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a guide to eyeshadow anatomy. And this is not going to be a total guide to eyeshadow, which I do want to do, but this is going to be focusing on where to place eyeshadow in different parts of the eye. Because I know when I was starting out, I didn't know what shade of eyeshadow would go where, and what was inner corner, what was outer corner, what was inner V, what all these things were. Because all these YouTubers do use these terms, I use these terms, but I don't 100% know if you guys know what they mean. So this video is going to be a quick guide to all of that. So the first part of the eye I'm going to talk about is this place I call the all over the lid area. And basically this is the base area for the rest of your eyelid. This is the place where you want to put the second lightest color all over the lid. So this is the area. So I'm going to highlight the area. And as you can see, it is really all over the lid, but you're not going past the crease and you're not going too high up. This is where you put the second lightest shade of your eyeshadow palette on. And this basically sets the base for the rest of the eye makeup. This is also where you would put also your eye primer before your eyeshadow and base shade basically. So now I'm going to put this color on and from this palette as you can see it is definitely the second lightest shade. The first lightest shade always is for the highlight so you want to use the second lightest shade and that's kind of a goldish color and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And as you can see this is exactly the area where you want it, it's not too high up near the brow or anything like that and this is basically where it's at. Alright, the second part of the eye I want to talk about is called the outer corner. And the outer corner is the outer corner of the eye. You are basically going from just short of half of the eye to the end of the eye. And this is going to create that definition and shadow and make your eye 3D. So as you can see, sometimes when you look at three-dimensional objects and when you draw three-dimensional objects, the light color is on, if, if you look at a globe especially, the light color is on where the light hits the globe and the rest of the areas are dark. So you want to create that rounded eye and you would do that simply by applying a darker shade onto the outer corner. Now this shade can be shimmery, can be matte, I'm totally up to you, but make sure that it is definitely darker than the base shade. So I'm going to apply this brown matte color onto my outer corner as then as you can see it's really easy to apply and you just pat that in. If you want more color pigmentation you just pat the color into the area and you will basically see the eye kind of transform. Alright, the third place you want to apply eyeshadow is called the crease. Now the crease is basically where I'm highlighting now, the place where your eyeball kind of protrudes and the space in between your, I guess, your eyebrow bone to your eyelid. So that's a little space where you want to create the cut crease or just a little bit of a shadow, just so your eyes pop out even more. So that's what it's basically for. All right, so I'm gonna place a, the same color. Now, a trick is if you are applying a shimmery or glittery shade onto your base shade, it's best to actually use a matte shade into your crease. That is going to basically make everything a lot more subtle and gradient and also blended together. So it's a great way to blend things together. This is where you would put a kind of matte brown. That would be really great for the great crease shade as well. And so I'm going to apply this right into my crease. And if you guys have model lids, you guys have model lids, but you actually have a crease, even though you think like, oh, I have a single eyelid, but a single eyelid doesn't mean the second fold is a crease. That's not really it. It's where your eyeball protrudes from your eye. And it's that little indentation that's called a crease. So if you feel your eyeball, you can actually feel the eyeball and where the eyeball goes in, that is where your crease. So for me, my eyeball's here and I can press in, this is where my crease. My double eyelid actually ends here, but my crease is a bit higher. So everyone has a crease. Now the trick to crease is, is that you have to be careful. If you have a full eyelid, meaning that your eyelid can be seen from here to here, and it's quite large, such as people who are Caucasian or Indian, Arabian even, they have really full eyelids. I do not have that. Um, Asian people do not tend to have that kind of eyelid, but you never know. Um, and if you have the eyelid, you are free to apply the crease or a darker crease 
right from end uh, to beginning. But if you have mono lids or eyelids like mine, it's best to actually stop halfway and blend it out. That way you won't look like you have raccoon eyes or basically eyes that look like they are punched black and blue. So you definitely don't want that. So crease is a place where it is a bit difficult to apply eyeshadow just because you never know where to stop. But I'm telling you, if you have eyes like mine or Asian eyes, it's best to stop halfway. Whereas if you have Arabian, Caucasian, full eyelids, then you can feel free to go all the way, but it really depends on your preference. This is a great way to use a fluffy brush to blend out the eyeshadow to make it look all blended and gradient together right on the crease. So the crease serves actually a lot of functions, I guess. All right, so I blended that, that out. The fourth place to apply eyeshadow is called the outer V. And the outer V is basically a V shape starting from the end of your lid line and joining into your crease. So as you can see, that forms a V shape, which I've highlighted right here. And what do you apply in this outer V? You simply apply the darkest color in your eyeshadow palette because this is really going to define your eyes. Now, if you don't want something super smoky or super defined, you can stop right here and not apply the outer V. But I love applying the outer V, especially with a matte black, because it really kind of brings out my eyes and makes the eyeshadows pop. So I'm using the darkest color on my eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to apply this from my lid line and I'm joining it right into my crease, as you can see. And you can see that it's starting to look a lot more defined, a lot more emphasized, and that's why I love the outer V, because it can really make your eyeshadows pop. Another place where you can apply the dark eyeshadow is actually on your waterline. So this is a place where if you're doing a more smokier eyelid, you can go even more with this, and applying a dark eyeshadow right here can really, really kind of make your eyeshadow more unified I think and so I'm gonna show you basically me applying it and as you can see my eyeshadow does look more defined and put together all right so you're basically covered the basic kind of eye anatomy this is a good eye anatomy if you are just um, looking for a day look or doing a night look but if you want to do a step up I would start suggesting you highlight the eye so sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, but I do this mainly for um, more complicated looks or even colored eyeshadow, I tend to always do this, or very dark smoky eyeshadow looks, and I'm going to highlight the middle of the eye. So I'm taking a small brush just like this, and then I'm using the lightest color on my eyeshadow palette. This can be a shimmery cream, that kind of thing. Don't do white as much as you like. I mean, unless your eyeshadow look goes with the white, but if it doesn't go with the light, white, it's best to go with a cream, white shattered cream or tan color. Or any even really quite light color. It could be a really light blue if your eyeshadow look is blue. All right, so I'm going to apply this right into the middle of my eye, so that little circle. So this I call the middle of my eye. I mean, it's not really a term, but some people have different terms for it. But I'm going to highlight it right here. And that is going to make the eyeshadows even pop even more, just because it's emphasizing the place where light hits like a globe. Just imagine a globe, and then where light hits, that's the concentration of light, and then dark and the sides. So I like to pop it right there. And of course, I can apply it into my inner corner as well. All right, so that is basically eyeshadow anatomy in a nutshell. I really hope you like this video, and I know that this would, could be helpful for you if you are a makeup um, expert already. I mean, obviously, this is a very beginner's video, but I think I should put it out there just because I know a lot of people get confused in terms of the names and stuff like that, and I don't know really where eyeshadow goes. So if you have any questions at all, I try to explain it as clearly as I can, but if you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll just answer them through the typing. And stay tuned to my next video where I show you eyeliner anatomy and then the next one I'll put the mascara on. So yeah, I guess this is a series for this week and I really hope you like this video. Follow me on Instagram at Rosanne Tangeres if you'd like. I'll see you guys later. Bye.